Now, indoor theatres remain closed this week after Boris Johnson delayed their reopening in England. They had been expecting to start up again at the weekend, but for now, only outdoor performances will be allowed. And joining us now is Stephen Tompkinson, who's in rehearsals for an outdoor production of Educating Rita. Great to see you this morning, Stephen, because I do know that you were out on the road last year, and of course it came to a very unexpected stop in February, but you're back. Yes, that's right. I mean, we... Uh... It's the 40th anniversary production of, uh, of Willie Russell's famous play, and uh, yes, as he said, it was uh, it was our second outing of it when uh, when the lockdown happened. So uh, we weren't able to fulfil all the dates on that tour, and the the set went into storage, and uh, we've just been sort of hanging on ever since, waiting for some sort of green light. And fortunately, the the Minac Theatre, which is an open air theatre and fits all the uh, COVID uh, criteria for keeping people safe has said that we can go there for a fortnight and uh, we're, we can't wait. We're, we're re-rehearsing it. We're making sure that the show starts earlier. We've, uh, we've trimmed a little bit out of it so that it'll just run straight through with no interval so that the audience will be safe when they move in and get out again and they'll be able to leave in the daylight and uh, so yes it's, it's all very exciting very exciting and i mean it's quite fortuitous in fact that you of course play frank and jessica johnson plays Rita, but you live together and thank thankfully oh. you do <laughs> simply because the social distancing aspect of the play probably it just wouldn't have been possible to do it if you hadn't no. been in that bubble We've been uh, we've been very fortunate in that respect, and uh, so yes, we we now have show will travel, and <laughs> uh, and our producer David Pugh's frantically looking to see if there's any other venues and see if we can't bring the show to somewhere near you. And were you always a fan of Educating Rita? Oh, very much. I think yeah. You know, Willie Russell spoke to many people who hadn't really thought that theatre wasn't for them at all, but. Um, He's, he's very inclusive in, in everything that he writes and it's why he appeals to so many people. And, and this play in particular, I, I first saw it about 1981 or two before the film came out, which again got a whole new audience for it. And pe people are really fond of the story, but the play, of course, unlike the film, is, is just the two characters and it's just set in... Frank's office and you follow them over an academic year and uh, you really invest on on how dependent they become on one another. Yes. It's a big relationship. Well, you got Willie Russell's seal of approval, a personal seal of approval, so it, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely. We were fortunate beyond belief that he was uh, able to join us every week of rehearsal and then when we opened at the Theatre by the Lake in Keswick, he was there and he came backstage and said, thank you for giving me my play back. No, that's, that's an impressive statement. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> I mean, Stephen, we all need a bit of escapism now more than ever, of course, and, and we, we see so many of our venues, our theatre, our arts or music venues just not, just not getting through this at all. So many of them closing down completely, yeah. even at this point. I mean, it's a very, very sad state of affairs for everyone involved, and as an actor, it just must be devastating. Well, absolutely. You know, you, you hear the sad news that Southampton Theatre has closed and the Plymouth Theatre has, and, and everyone else is making redundancies of between 35 and 50 percent. And yeah, I mean, although there's a, a very generous bailout figure announced, you, you wonder how far it will spread when it comes to the regions. And what you notice more on tour uh, when you go around is is how much of a, a focal point for the community theatres are and to, to see them closing down just shouldn't be happening. Mm, no, absolutely. And what, what do you think of the, the streaming of, of theatre shows now? I mean, we've all had to adapt and it's one way that theatres have managed to do it slightly in lockdown. Yes, of course. I mean, for you know, for every one performer who's eager to get on perform, there's, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people wanting to see performances so you know theatre won't disappear ever storytelling won't disappear and we'll, we'll find ways but um yeah we're, we're just sort of offering a, a beacon of hope a bit of normality and and hopefully with uh, with all the restrictions we'll be able to give a very safe show and people will be 
glad for the escapism and hopefully other venues will be able to follow suit very soon. Mm -hmm. I know theatre is a huge love of yours, but of course we also know you for all of your television roles over the years and of course up to, up to date. Is there anything coming up? Um, in the foreseeable future? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to be in the new series of ITV's The Bay. I'm not, I'm not sure when that's going out. I think it might be January. But, uh, yeah, there's a good few twists and turns there. So, uh, yeah, it's lovely to be able to balance both. Uh, but, but for now, uh, the, the thought of the shared experience of doing a live performance is... Uh, is really, really getting me excited. Yeah, absolutely. Although, you know, I still love the old stuff, Stephen, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm talking Drop the Dead Donkey. Uh -huh. I'm talking Bally Kiss Angel. I mean, that, you know, I'm going back many years, but I loved it. Oh, well, thank you very much. And, uh, well, get on down to the Minac Theatre in Cornwall. See for yourself. Absolutely. And just, we saw those pictures earlier of what the backdrop is there. It's an incredible outdoor space anyway. So what an experience just to be part of that. It is. It's absolutely brilliant. There's one lovely lady said she'd uh, she booked two tickets to sit, come and see, come and see it once for the background, and then come and see it once for the play. <laughs> two for one and the one ticket. Well, Steve, thank you so much. Best of luck with the the rest of the run as well. And like you say, um, Educate and Reader runs from the 18th to the 30th of August at the Manac Theatre in Cornwall. Lovely to talk to you this morning. Thank you, Stephen. Christine, thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.